Hey, what's up, nobody watching this video? It is the Squid Boy, and I'm here to review some cringe. So, the cringe I'm going to be reviewing today is everyone's favorite cringe to dog on right now Facebook and the metaverse. It is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do, to reflect who we are and what we hope to build. We have renamed our company to Meta because it's our favorite type of data to take from you. Hey guys, you know that uh, awkward moment when you start recording a video for your video and then you realize that there's a giant ad in the center of the screen that popped up 10 seconds after you got up even though you closed a previous ad like five seconds earlier you guys know that funny moment well you guys are just gonna have to deal with that because i'm not going to re-record that video i don't want youtube to think i'm interested in the metaverse more than it already thinks i am today we're gonna talk about the metaverse this next part's great because you can pinpoint the exact moment when mark zuckerberg briefly forgets he needs to pretend to care about us. It's so funny. Starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Did you guys see it? And now it's time for the most human conversation Mark Zuckerberg has ever had. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, if there's one good thing that came out of the metaverse, it is this image. This is the best image I have ever seen. It's part Frankenstein looking at Frankenstein's monster, part it's behind me, isn't it? Floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in LA. Right now, I feel like I kind of have to talk about what the metaverse really is for people who don't know. It is a video game. It is a singular video game that Facebook decided to name their company after. Okay, so now, I don't know for sure, but it seems like they named Meta after the Metaverse, not the other way around, which is incredibly stupid. Imagine, if you will, Valve one day decides they need to rename their company. To what? Steam Corp? No. No, instead, they rename themselves to Half-Life The Company. That is what Facebook is doing when they named their company Meta. Also, one smallish, bigish, massive, giant, glaring issue is that while Mark pretends that VR hangout spaces haven't existed since VR, they have. And he's just remaking VR chat right now, but it's more expensive. And now, this, this kind of worries me because since the metaverse is basically just VR chat. There are two ways you can go with a VR chat based game, okay? You can go the second life approach, which is where you take it so seriously that everyone who plays the game also takes it seriously and it becomes really weird and no one outside of the weird old community wants to play the game because it's too weird. Or you can do the VR chat approach, which is just, you don't take it seriously at all. And it's like, hey, you wanna be Kermit the Frog? Okay, sure, go ahead. And right now, Mark Zuckerberg is taking this so seriously. You know how seriously he's taking this? We expect to invest many billions of dollars for years to come before the metaverse. All right, so Facebook plans to invest many billions into the metaverse. That's a billions with a B. Okay, so after doing a couple seconds of digging, I found 
that the most expensive game produced so far was Cyberpunk 2077 at about $300 million. Okay, so assuming many billions is at least three, that would be nine times plus the cost of the most expensive video game ever made to create a VR chat clone. And now, I think it's time I need to talk about the elephant in the room, as it were. Or rather, really the, uh, the big stinky monkey in the room. That's right, the metaverse uses NFTs, because of course it does. But before I talk about NFTs, I need to talk about how terrible the YouTube Shorts feature is because of how I had to deal with it while recording for this video. Alright, so uh, right now I'm in OBS and I'm gonna move to the YouTube tab so I can show you how terrible the Shorts feature is right now. Alright, so uh, this is what Shorts look like now, okay? Notice how it's obviously formatted for a phone and they don't even try to make it look like it's not, or make it look even good on a laptop. And also, uh, notice, there's there's no bottom bar, interesting, there's no top bar, there's no any bar, so I can't skip through the video. I can't, I have to press up here to pause the video. There's also no full screen button, okay? So that's why you're gonna have to deal with seeing my sidebars, and my bottom bar, and my top bar, because there's no full screen mode because whoever designed this was an absolute moron. Kind of the, your right, stuff so. and your friends and your connection, right? So no, you're gonna, okay, you're gonna so. have your avatar and you're gonna have your I don't know if you can hear it, clothing, but right now I am tools, spamming the arrow key button. Apps today, you know, the uh, arrow key kind of button, to be a the little button bit designed and you for to you to be able to skip to forward. Together. Now I'm spamming um, the L, which is the skip 10 seconds button. Okay, whatever, let's see what happens when I click the bottom arrow key. I made a viral meme. Whatever, I don't care. Oh uh, wait, did the video just start over? Yes, about, yes it did. Um, you tap you down, you go and, back up, you have to watch the, the entire thing again. And your okay, and your whoever designed this gonna, was a moron. Your... Anyways, uh, I'll just briefly summarize what Mark Zuckerberg kind of talked about with NFTs where he was like, you're gonna be able to buy things in the metaverse and they would stay there. So basically he's just, he just kind of wants to do Ready Player One. You know that movie that was those bad to mediocre. He wants to do that in real life. Anyways. One thing of note I uh, he mentioned kind of was how you could have like NFTs in your metaverse house or have your metaverse house be an NFT. And I just think that's so funny. Mark Zuckerberg has this glorious creation he's unveiling. And it's a way to escape the world and all like the stresses and bad things of the real world so you can be in your little VR world or whatever. Alright, and so just imagine some, like, gentleman, he's having a hard day in his life, so he goes on to do a little metaverse to, like, you know, cheer himself up. But then, oh no, he forgot to pay his NFT house mortgage in the metaverse, and now he's sad. Anyways, the video's about over. I don't want you to overdose on cringe or anything, so yeah, that's that. This is the end card, the video is over, but you can still stay around if you want. I don't know why you would, that is stupid, da 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 da. I don't know what else to sing about. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.